Good afternoon, everyone. It is Friday, April 10th. Friday means modern, and we got a modern league dump today. 57 decks to go through. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Starting off with Kokif TW, uh, we've got Mono Blue Tron. And this looks to be a relatively stock build. Don't see anything off the top of my head. Unusual. All right. Mucky Muck DC5 with uh, Stoneblade. Black White. Is this Black White or is this Mono White? This is Mono White Stoneblade. Ghost Quarter, Field of Ruin, Stoneforge Mystic, Thalia. This is kind of Death and Taxes style deck with Stoneforge Mystic. Um, I'm not a Legacy player. I, I, I believe this is kind of what you would call Death and Taxes from Legacy. The modern equivalent of it. BMM348 with a uh, Lingering Souls. This is a Mardu Pyromancer deck. Stone Mardu or Mardu Stoneblade, I guess, because of the Stoneforge Mystic. That's not something you tend to see in Mardu Pyromancer. So this is kind of a Mardu Stoneblade. Have seen a build like this last week, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's back. So maybe maybe a deck to watch here. Petrosis with uh, mono mono red blitz. Yeah, mono red blitz. Couple of Kiln Fiends, lots of prowess stuff, lots of spells. Get him dead quick. Tundoslav with Niv Mizzet. Uh, two wishes in the main board in this build. The instants are pretty streamlined. Only three different cards there instead of a handful. Two Teferis for Ren and Six. That's an unusual mix. I would expect that this tends to get flipped. Four Teferis and two Rens. Um, Ren is definitely good in the deck. Uro becoming the only other creature. Uh, we've got no ramp in this deck. So, uh, yeah. Good old Niv. Gong gets a 5-0 with four-color snow control. Chase the Mind Sculptor, Ren and Six, Ice Fang Coatl, Snapcaster, Uro. That's your your threats, and then a whole bunch of controly stuff. Guitar 90X is back with Death Shadow, and this is Black White Death Shadow? No, nope. Mardu Death Shadow. So uh, yeah, your Mardu Mardu build here. Let's see if we see the other three builds in this league. Nate Dog in Peking with uh, Gruel. Well, no, this is Naya Zoo. Um, we have or Naya Stoneblade, I guess. Naya Zoo Blade, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, we're Naya Zoo style with Stoneforge Mystic. Going all the way up to Glory Bringers, so it's on the mid range size of things, side of things. Uh, that looks like a cool looking deck. Misplaced Ginger with Bant Snow Control. Yep, this is the version of Bant Snow decks that has taken over and kind of pushed Bant Snowblade out of the format. Or almost out of the format. Parrot with Black White Eldrazi and Taxes. Thought Not Seers, Wasteland Stranglers, Aether Vials, Kaya main deck. Kind of cool. Been seeing that a little bit more in this build. So, yep. There's your uh, Eldrazi and Taxes deck. Pescardi with uh, this is Naya Zoo. Uh, Naya, Naya Bushwhacker Zoo. This is very aggressive deck here. Trying to get things uh, on the battlefield as quickly as possible and in the red zone. Hidden Herbalists. Sort of a uh, the Revolt Burning Tree Emissary of sorts. So yeah, this is really trying for explosive turn twos is what it's going for. PP8 with uh... Devoted, devoted Druid Combo. 
No Cocos in this one, but we do have Cord, Eldamri's Call, and Finale of Devastation. No Heliods. So this is three Teferis to protect to protect you on your turn. So this is definitely the um, the combo deck. It's not not trying to win really in any other way. Reich eighty five with the combo goblin goblins list. Uh, apparently this just five to preliminary. I want to see how that turned out, uh, or a slightly different build of it. The build that I saw only had one frog tosser and did not have these couple of goblins. Uh, this... No, this isn't really the combo build, is it? This is just straight black bread goblins. The combo build has Grum Gully, and that's not what this one is. So, uh, yeah, I played this deck a fair bit before starting in on Niv, Niv Mizzet, you know, right after Modern Horizons came out and, go and goblins got good again. Uh, and M20, I think, also brought somebody to the table. Uh, the ringleader, yep. But, uh, yeah, fun deck. Uh, it is a board control deck. This is not an aggro deck. Don't try to play this as an aggro deck. You will lose. It is a board control deck that then wins with creature combat. Seventh Prophet with Eurosa. Yep. No War of Invention in this deck. This is just Eurosa. One of the uh, one of the best mid range decks in the format, I think. Yeah. Mordekaiser with another Niv Mizzet build here. We have Clothus in this one, Ashiok main deck. 3-3 three, three on the Teferis and Renin Sixes as opposed to 2-4 like we saw before. Ramping with Utopia Sprawl. The instants are a little more spread out. So you can see this is this is a radically different build than what we saw in the prior list. But same basic idea. The, this deck is infinitely configurable. You can you can customize it almost to your whim. TGR with another Gruel Aggro deck here. This is the Ponza Light deck that we've been seeing do pretty well. Up through Glorybringer, three Pillages main, uh, four Magus of the Moon. It's basically trying to, to aggressively take your opponent off of resources while killing them with a clock. Uh, kind of been the rising star in the format over the last couple of weeks. LSMD with Blue Moon. Have not seen this in a little bit. Jace, Raoul, Two Blood Moons main, Brazen Borrowers, Thing in the Ice, fun stuff. Renato Araujo, 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 I don't know, Araujo. With, what do we got here? This is Mono Green Tron. Sundering Titan main, that's cool. Kozilek the Great Distortion main, that's not common. But, uh, and, and Ugin the Ineffable, not something you see all that much in Green Tron builds. But, uh, yeah, here's, here's a variant on Green Tron for you if you're just wanting to uh, add 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 7. Fabi 1 with Spirits. This is Blue White Spirits. And. Yeah, one Geist, one Kira main. Brazen Borrower, not something you see that frequently in a Spirits build, but it definitely fits into the mode of play. And then Unsettled Mariner, the Honorary Spirit. Fabrice K with Ninjas. Ninjas and Fairies. So I don't know how this deck is going to get built on Goldfish, but it's not really a fairies build. I think the only fairies in it, in fact, are the Spellstutter Sprites and the Fairy Seers. Uh, this is a blue-black tempo deck that leans on fairies for some of its ability. Similar idea to spirits, but more controlly. Jumago with Bogles. And anything unusual here? I don't 
uh, just a little bit wider mix of enchantments. But pretty straightforward. One dry Dryad Arbor. Yep. Romarin with the uh, Electro Balance deck. And this looks... I don't remember Ren and Six in the deck, but I don't see it that often to know. Makes sense. It, it, I mean, that's a great card, so I would put it in there. But yeah, Electro Balance, if you're wanting to uh, Armageddon and be in a position to win after it. Jeff Hendla with Dredge. And three Oxes, I think, is now becoming standard in Dredge. Uh, three and three on the Oxes and Prized Amalgams. It used to be two and four. I don't know if this is a test or if this is where things are going, but that's about the only real uh, innovation in the deck is how many Oxes you're playing. Otherwise, Dredge is Dredge. Mayor with Ad Nauseam. And yeah, this looks like a straightforward relatively stock ad nauseum deck. Bordas 99 with another Electro Balance deck. Why do we get two? That's an interesting thing. Looks like our mana base is radically different here. 17 lands versus uh, 17 lands, but we've got Bloodstained Myers. We've got Snow in this deck. Uh, so they're Definitely, a, you know, Arkham's Astrolabe, where this version is not running Astrolabe. So that was a snow electro balance. This one is not. Doctor of Time with Living End. Brazen Borrow and Living End. That, I don't remember. But yeah, it would be good for um, bouncing rest in pieces or other hate pieces. Definitely. Big JC00 with Amulet Titan. 29 lands, 2 explorers, 4 dryads, 2 Azusa, and Arboreal Grazer. Mox Emerald, as some have put it. Marchus with Esper Control. for snow control if we want to be really specific only two creatures are two snapcaster mages this one is trying to beat you into submission and not trying to kill you sideshow sc with prowess this is blue red royal scions is interesting blue red prowess Sea Therapy with Burn. Boros Burn. Oh, reliable. Bernardog. Bernardo DG. Sorry, not Bernardog. Bernardo DG. With Jund. Main deck Ashiok. That's, we're starting to see that more and more. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. But it does stop you from searching libraries. It does stop uh, graveyard stuff from your opponents. So... Ashiok and Tarmogoyf feel like a non-bow, but so does Croxa, and Croxa has become a staple in Jund. So, yeah. Luna 12 with Eldrazi Tron. Anything clever in this list? Golos is a little interesting. You see that sometimes. Two Oblivion Sowers main. Eldrazi Tron, four chalices, four maps. DFI, this is Aaron Barich. Uh, and this is the Yogmoth combo deck. So this is not a surprise. Yep, she's really good with this deck. 42 creatures. That Hang on here. There's 80 cards in this main deck and 10 in the sideboard. What is going on? Uh... Aaron, you're crazy. I looked at it and I 42 creatures, 27... Wait, what? Uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff in this deck. There's a Death Shadow. There's a Shalai. 
Wow, that feels like a commander deck. Okay, nice. I like it. And this is all set up for the new companion that says you have to start with at least 20 more cards in your main deck than your format's minimum. Yeah, all set for that. Screenwriter New York with humans. Is this humans? No, this is not humans. Or is it? No, deputy's not. I don't know. This is almost like a blue white death. Blue white taxes deck. Blue white blink. But there's no so. It's not a soul herder deck. Just kind of a blue white disruptive aggro deck. Interesting. I like this. Fluffy Wolf 2 with... Is this Crab Vine? There's crabs, but there's no vines. Nope, this is just Mill. Mesmeric Orb. There's your giveaway. Yep, Mill. Always gets them. Until they're expecting it. And Ponzor with Living End. Different build than we had before. And Aceto with... Which Titan is this? Titan deck. This is just Titan Field. No amulet, no scape shift. So here's your third different primeval option. Primeval Titan option. SS Karm with Infect. And pretty straightforward Infect build. Aspiring Spike. What are they up to? Monogreen Ramp? Is that what this is? Nicholas. Yeah, this looks like Mono Green Ramp. Leyline of Abundance. A bunch of mana creatures. Does Leyline work for Burning Tree Emissary? No, you have to tap a creature for mana. Wistful Selkie. To get you Devotion. What's our payoff? Genesis Hydra. Vivian and Karn. Which means there's stuff in the sideboard. We've got Walking Ballista. Okay, that's good. Mind Slaver. Okay. Coding. Got Pharaoh's Statue to slow your opponents down. Ulamog. Sundering Titan. Okay, here's where your payoffs are. They're in the sideboard, not in the main deck. Crater Hoof. Wow, that's, that's a build. That would have been a fun stream to watch. Insano with Wurza. This is Bant... Uh, no, sorry, team. Uh, God, just guy Wurza. Getting all my uh, wedge names confused just in time for a new set of five wedge names. Aren't we excited about that? Hitokiri 1984 with some version of the rock here. Are we just black green? I think we're just black green in this deck. Black green rock. Good old solid will always be part of modern whether it's good or bad people will always love that that style of deck diotima with uh, another hate bears death in texas style deck yep seeing more and more of these recently that's one of one of stoneforge mystics better homes kung pow pow with Coco, oh, is this, this is not Soul Herder. That's usually the only place you see Ephemerate. This is Obs on Coco. Do you have any combos in here? No, this is just Obs on Value Coco. Obs on Good Stuff. Karusu with... Kiki Cord. Great little toolbox deck. Similar to... I guess a similar idea to this, but this actually does have a... Um, it's going for the Resto Kiki... Restoration Angel Kiki Jiki combo finish, where this deck is just trying to outvalue you. Wynevis with 
the Polymorph Indominal Creativity deck. There's our Dwarven Mines. You want to hit Dwarven Mine as your fourth land, hoping your first three are mountains. Gives you a creature, and then you Polymorph or Indomitable Creativity that token into Immercool. So this is trying to Immercool turn four. Roderick 710 with Bushwhacker Zoo. Devastating Summons. Wow, this is just about as aggro as it gets. Pat nine, Patsy, Patchy, with humans, two Keswick Malcontents main, and nothing really surprising beyond that. Dismembers in the sideboard is a little unusual. You don't see that too much, I don't think, but it is handy. Prof Boom with Death Shadow. This one is Grixis Death Shadow. This has been the traditional build. So that's two of them now. We've seen Mardu and Grixis. We still need to see Jund in four color. Let's see if we will. We fold with another Eldrazi and Taxis style deck. There's been a lot of them this game. Uh, Winds of Abandon. Okay. Is that the Mass Path to Exile? It's not coming up for me. Must be a connection issue. So, yeah, this is just trying to uh, Eldrazi you out, really. Chalice to stop you doing things. Hugo Freitas 1 with Storm. And 2 Grape Shot, no Into the Warren's main. Alright, PBR with Blue Green Reclamation. So, Simic Reclamation. Nexus of Fates, trying to loop, uh, get your Mystic Sanctuary Cryptic Command loop going, and kill them with Uros. 66 UE with blue-white control for Terminus. That's something I haven't really seen a whole lot in the last year. Yeah. The Purple Mage with Heliod... Coco. So are we Obzon in this deck, or are we Green-White? So this is the Green-White Heliod deck we've been seeing a little more. It's got the uh, Spike Feeder way to uh, combo off just the one Walking Ballista. This also has the Devoted Vizier combo. So this is the, uh, the Pack Your Combos deck. Not the easiest deck to play online. There's a lot of clicking involved with this. Draconic 1 with escaped, uh, Titan Shift. Yep. Good old Titan Shift. This one looks to be red-green, not Teamer. Video game with Neil Brand. I get why the deck's around. I wish it wasn't. I don't like this style of magic, to be honest. Funny Man 31399 with... Is this the Jund Shadow list? Yes, this is Jund. Nope, this one is four color. So here's our four color list. All we need now is Jund. Koji 9 with Black Red Unearth. And that is our last list of the dump. This is the uh, relatively newish Black Red Unearth deck with the Skeletals and Ox for Pyromancers. So, yeah, some good stuff in here. Seeing kind of a rise in death and taxes. That's an interesting development. Uh, something to watch in the preliminary results next week, or if it carries over into next week's modern list. So, thanks for listening I, and watching. I do appreciate it. Please hit those like and subscribe buttons. If you want to see me, uh, you know, want to help keep the channel going, raise the visibility, etc., etc., Thanks a bunch for watching. Have a good weekend. Stay safe out there, and we will be back on Monday.